In this week's video, I continue to document my journey from hand-wired valve amp and boutique pedal user to embracing new technology and using my modeler, my Quad Cortex, with in-ear monitors. Now, the video is in a, it's a kind of vlog of a rehearsal. There's some uh, plenty of rehearsal footage. And what I was experimenting with this week was using the scenes on my Quad Cortex to uh, try and capture, before I got there, everything I thought I might need while I was playing. Now I wasn't quite right and after the rehearsal I've made some changes which I shall show you at the end of the video. Now not having my amp I thought I'd wear the t-shirt so I'm wearing my car amplification t-shirt. Please enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. It's 8am I've got rehearsal this morning I've just got some contact lenses and I've just spent about half an hour trying to get them in. Oh, I'm hoping I get used to this because my eyes hurt now. Well they don't hurt but they're a bit sore so Apologies for looking like I'm uh, half asleep. I'm not, it's 8 a.m. I've been up for two hours. Um, now, I want to, I've got rehearsal uh, starting at 10 this morning and I've been playing around with a scene mode on my Quad Cortex. Um, I want to be able to use the scenes to switch so I can, I've, got the, I've only got one expression pedal at the moment um, and I want to be able to use the wah. This is the main reason for using the scenes. So I've got a scene that turns off using the expression pedal as a volume pedal and automatically switches it to the wah. But obviously there's lots of different variations for where I want to use the wah. I'm not really one of those people who has kind of set thing used for each song. I just do it as I go along. So let me show you these scenes. So I've set up a new patch here. I got rid of um, some of the bits I didn't need for live, like the effects loop, which I use for looping when I'm uh, at home or the ambient reverb for headphones. So we're on the scene mode here. So I've set up one, when I kick the wire in, as I say, it turns off the expression pedal um, from being a volume pedal to being a uh, just the wire. And then I've got a the different levels of boost. So this is my kind of default setting for using with single coils. That's just with my EP booster on, nothing else but the spring reverb. Then I'm gonna kick in the BB preamp and I've got my Tube Screamer, which is my own pedal, which I've um, captured. And then that's the pair of them, which gives it quite a high gain sound. And I know on one of the songs, I'm going to use a bit of Trem. So that's clean. So that's just that with a bit of Trem. And then I've got Trem Crunch, which is just the Tube Screamer. So I'm going to go to the rehearsal. I'm not going to take an amp today. I'm just going to use this with my in-ears. There's my amp looking all sorry for itself because it's not going to get used. Um, so I'm going to have a very small setup. I'll show you the setup and I've got it all packed away. And I'm going to go and get ready. It's been a busy week this week. Um, not doing music, unfortunately. I've been chaperoning my daughter who was filming for a, um, I don't know if I can say the name of the company. It's a big company um, filming their YouTube videos. So I went along as her chaperone. Um, there was eight crew filming this thing. A bit more uh, involved than my YouTube videos, I have to say. It was a, uh, yeah, got put up in a hotel and had a nice couple of days away with her. So now it's back to work rehearsals this morning. The, the good bit is, that's how much guitar gear I've got. But because I want to film it, I've got to take that lot as well. Oh well, at least I haven't got to take that lot and all the amps. I'm here at the rehearsal and today, look, we're all here. There's, Hello, there's Ralphie. And there's Mike. And he's just getting this sound together. What about Mike's drawer? Oh yeah, he's dra the drawer's here. Let me just switch the camera around. Sorry, it got me scratching <laughs> my ear. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at Mike's drawers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the drawer's here. And... It's got uh, my spectacles in it. Spectacles. It, it, well, it is a spectacle, as of itself. So let's have the, <laughs> let's have the sound. What's the sound we've been working on? Oh, it's the uh, classic, uh, won't get fooled again. Barbara can, can, we, can we have a little um, Pete Townsend, blast? Although it's a lot cheaper. Than the, than the gubbins he used to use. I'm trying to assign the filter here. I know right. that sounds a little bit nerdy, but hopefully. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back over to Ralph, shall we, while you're. Um... Oh, hello. Yes, I'm afraid I don't have a drawer. I really just have just my sticks, <laughs> my phone, and my music stand, which was covered with Loganbury juice this morning for some strange reason. Oh. Because last night at choir, someone gave me a tub of Loganbury's and I left them in there rather stupid. Well, it doesn't, 
have a lot of music on it though. No, indeed. That's because the Logan Bridge has <laughs> taken over and I'm just letting it dry out. Lovely. Thank you. That's all I have to say on the matter, I'm afraid. Right, yeah, we'll be back to you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Another interesting story. Well, it's just uh, an interesting story. Yes, it was an interesting story. <laughs> Here we are again. Here we go. <laughs> I want it to go we won't like, get filtered again. I, won't get, <laughs> I want it to go like this. I want to be able to. Ah, 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 you can never do it. The, see, this is this didn't used to happen in the seventies, did it? You didn't see Pete Townsend fiddling around with a MacBook trying to, to get. Huge so can you? Can you do it without moving your mouth? <laughs> have to that's essential it's impossible it, to, it, to it, play it without moving your mouth in the same as the filter you can't get the same feel <laughs> keeps making these nasty noises so i thought that go. was the idea <laughs> <laughs> that's what i need to do i need to invent something that means that i can control Talk. Right, there we go. So last week I got here a bit early, so I didn't have to bore the band with this. But as they're here, I'm afraid that's. So uh, I'm going to be using the scene mode here. I've set up all these different scenes as opposed to now. Which button do we press to? Oh no, that's wrong. Oh, it's making lots of noise in the thing. So I wish I knew how this worked. Let me go back. Close that. Right, so this is the patch I'm using, which you can probably hear the noise. And I've got scenes set up. This is stomp mode, so I can turn on the individual effects. And this is the scene mode. So I'm hoping that's kept the rest of the band very interested. Oh. Wake up! Oh, we're about to start. Oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> oh, hello, Wembley. Sorry. Yes.
first thing I've done post rehearsal is I've dusted the quad cortex because I noticed that it looked rather dirty on the last few videos where I've done close ups on it. So hopefully we've got all the <gasps> dust off it. Right, ignore the noise. So this was the preset that I used with the scenes that I had set up at the rehearsal. So if, let's go into um, stomp mode. So essentially, I've got a gain set up, which is linked to the expression pedal. So it doesn't boost the gain, but it goes from nothing to zero, the same way a volume pedal would. I used that a lot when I was doing um, the Elton John uh, show a few weeks ago, which if you look back on one of my other videos you can see, um, to balance it. In the rehearsal yesterday this was using it for my own material and I didn't use the volume pedal at all so I'm going to go, I'm going to create a new preset in a minute and I think I'm going to take that out. So really the main driver for trying the scene mode was if I wanted to use the wire pedal, what you have to do, if you've got it on the preset mode, you have to turn, because I've only got one expression pedal, I've assigned the expression pedal to the wire and to the gain block, which of course means if you're wiring, when you uh, put your heel down on the wire, then it turns all the volume off as well. So I have to deactivate the gain and activate the wire, which is a pain in the stomp mode. So in preset, in the scene mode, just hit that. And I've got it set so it turns the gain block off and turns the wire on. Um, but obviously I'm limited to one wire sound then. But what I discovered actually was I don't think I needed the volume pedal. What I'm really finding is that because I can hear myself so clearly, it's much more touch sensitive and I can control the volume much more easily with the, uh, with the volume on the guitar. But I don't really need it for what I'm doing with my own material. So... Let's go through this, if I can remember how to do it. I'm going to copy that preset and put it there. So what I'm going to do, first of all, let's put it into stomp mode. I'm going to get rid of this block because I don't need a volume pedal, which frees up this. Now, with the new update, I think there is a way of bypassing it, so it's either on heel, toe, so if you've got it fully on your toe, fully on your heel, I think it bypasses it, let's just try it. Okay, so it seems if I kick the wah wah, kick the expression pedal all the way back, then it bypasses it. What I also discovered, but when I'm with a lead sound, particularly with the delay, I'm needing something to sort out the transient of the notes. It's it's too much. I'm need I'm needing a compressor of some sort. So if we go into this one, I'm going to add. I'm going to put it in stomp mode to do this first. A compressor. Now I'm not totally sure where I want to put this. Whether it needs to be at the end, behind the amp, or in front of the amp. I think in front. Okay. Now I'm going to use a legendary 87, which is. to match this so it's assigned to B. I don't want it any louder. Let's reduce the makeup gain. So that's without with I don't know if it's possible to hear it on the uh 
on the mic there, but it's slightly softening the transient, which I don't want on the rhythm parts, especially when I'm backing the volume, backing the volume off. I want to re retain that transient. But if I'm going to lead with the volume on full on the guitar, to me, that might be a little bit too much, actually. Let's uh, let's turn the ratio down a bit. need it subtle. In fact, let's try altering the mix. So another scene I want to add. Let's go back into this. Now the trem crunch is basically trem with a tube screamer. But I've discovered it's nicely touch sensitive and responsive to the volume on the guitar, so I can back the volume off on the guitar. So I don't really need that. That's with the volume on full on the guitar. So I just back the volume off. So what I've decided I need, rather than that, is I want a slap delay. Now, the way I'm going to do that is, let's go into that, I'm going to create a second delay. I'm going to change this to a simple delay. I don't want it synced. I don't want much feedback. I'm going to take the mix down and I'm going to take the So on that preset so I can back it off and the volume on the guitar and I've got a longer delay here short delay There we are, so I think I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs>